we're gonna have to sort out your crash protocols. Oh yeah, don't get funny with me. Ugh. It's my head that feels like it's got a bunch of screaming Daleks in it. Okay then. That's what I'll do. I'll tell you a story. Come on then. Take mine. Take my memories. I walked in universes where the laws of physics were devised by a madman. And I watched universes freeze and creations burn. I have seen things you would not believe. And I have lost things where you would never understand. Human, that's what I am. Uh. Yet I often dream I'm this sort of slaggy Martian. A species slayer. A real nutty professor. I've even begun writing these 45, sometimes 90 minute adventures into little stories. We all change when you think about it. We're all different people all throughout our lives. And that's good. That's great, molto bene. You've got to keep moving. Well, so long as you remember all the people that you used to be. It's sad, isn't it? Why would you ever start a dance? If you know it's going to end. Right, the question of the hour is, who's got the Pandorica? Ooh, answer, I do. Next question, who is coming to take it from me? Just remember who's standing in your way. Remember every black day I ever stopped you. And then, do the smart thing. Let somebody else try first. Oh, so sorry. I thought this was the little shop. Exterminate! Hiya! Doctor? Yes? Run! What the devil are those things? Not important. What matters is that we keep on running. You got that? And what good will that do? Oh, Doctor. So much. Because we never stop running, hey? No matter what, we never, ever stop. Is that all I can do? Oh, better than that. Stay alive. Hey, I said no, and when I say no, you turn back around. I'm going to be dead in a few hours, so before I go, let's have it out. You and me, once and for all, because I don't think I've ever explained just how much I pity you. If I run away today, good people will die. If I stand and fight, some of them might live. Adam <laughs> Bastra's told me all the tales of your parents, so I don't blame you for hiding. Oh, careful. It's gotten a bit slippery here. It's because when we both climbed up, the tree started to release sap as a way of protection. <sighs> Nearly down. If you decide you want to climb another tree later, Flint, I'm remaining on the ground. Fine by me. Oh! Oh! You OK? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I once climbed a tree with Isaac Newton, you know. During all this time, I've been taking care of you, and in return, you've been taking care of me. Bye bye, Pond. Goodbye, the girl who waited. You deserved better than that. Deserved better than to die here. TARDIS was supposed to be safe. Safe for you and me. But now, we are destined to be buried on my planet's surface as a new empire topples the Gallifreyan Empire of old. This wasn't supposed to happen, Clara. I can feel it. I can sense it with every Gallifreyan instinct. You were supposed to succeed. I just... I just know it. 1963. Such a good year. That's the year you bought that outfit, then. No, you saw me cobble this quite expertly together in that hospital. Ah, that, that was an insult, wasn't it? Are you always like this? Quite possibly. A Time Lord device, the Eye of Time. But it was destroyed midway through the Time War. Time War? Oh, uh, long story. Oh, I hate starting from scratch. The point is, the Daleks wanted it, and the Time Lord still had enough sense not to keep it, and imploded it in the Medusa Cascade. I swear, you make half this stuff up. No, Venus, you're not listening to me. 
If something happened to you, I could never face your parents with that. I could never face myself with that, that you died under my watch. Well, I don't want you to run off on me. This is a dangerous place, after all. Are you sure you don't just want an old man? No, no. This is... This is purely for your safety. For your safety. You're blushing. Oi! No, I am not! Yes, you are. You're about as red as your tie. Oh, shut up. 